All right, so we're gonna create these animation or these glass sort of effect. Now, these animation I featured a long time ago. I featured these glass sort of displacement effect in the 13 animated titles video that a lot of you really, really liked. And I decided to do that. Okay, let me just finally do it. Although I'm not in love with the result yet because there's still something missing that I haven't been able to figure out. Let me show you how it works. So I'm gonna add, copy this template and just build it these right here on the side. We have this template with our text where nothing is gonna happen. The first thing we need here is add a background note and we're gonna change the color to a gradient and we're gonna actually adjust the color to be here. Now I'm gonna press two so we can see it and I think that's good. I'm gonna add a mask right here and I'm gonna set the height to one and I'm gonna make this really, really thin like these and then position these right around the area of our gradient. And I'm gonna move the gradient a little bit towards the middle right here. On this background node, we're gonna press the control space bar and we're gonna add a duplicate. And we can duplicate these a couple of times, let's say five times and then go to the left like this. And I don't like that the rectangle is a little bit too big right here. I'm going to make these a little bit smaller then bring these a little bit closer to the side like that. And we're going to bring these a little bit closer right there. And we can add a few more copies. Let's say six that should be good. Then we're going to add a blur node and we can adjust the blurriness of our gradient like that. So that the displacement works a little bit better and it looks a little bit more like it's a glass, right? We're going to add transform and this transform we're going to use to animate the movement that we want it to do. Now we're going to select our template, press control space bar and add this placement node. And we're going to connect these to our text right there. Now we're not seeing anything yet, but if we move our, our shapes right here, we can see that the glass is already affected or our text is already affected. We're going to have to adjust the displacement. So we're going to, I'm just going to copy these values right here and paste them right there so that we have the same values. So if we take a look at the values right here on the right, you can just copy those, which is X offset to 0.476, then negative 0.039 on their X refraction. Bring the Y offset all the way to 0.5 and the Y refraction a little bit low to negative 0.0224. Now we're going to bring the light power all the way to zero and also let light angle leave it at zero. And then you can leave this spread at zero. But if you want, you can also play a little bit. Although I think this is actually related to the light, so it's not going to do anything. So now when we animate these, if you animate these, then we can we can see the glass being refracted a little bit or the text. So I move these towards this side, slow down a little bit towards back and then Move these all the way to that side if you want to do that. And then you can use this spline and adjust a little bit of a curvature to the animations. Just an easy in and out points. And then we have something that moves a little bit. I'm not in love with it, but it, it works for now. Once you get to experiment with it a little bit, then you can probably figure out a way to make these look a lot better. Okay, on this transform node, I'm going to add a film grain effect. And I'm going to connect this transform node to that one. Now we can see our shapes right there. And one thing that I didn't do was on this rectangle, I'm going to adjust the softness a little bit right there so that the ending point is not that sharp. On this film grain, if you press two, you can see that it's going to be moving a little bit. I think if you wanted to not do that, you can actually time block these and then the gradient shouldn't be moving or having that effect. But that's, that's up to you, right? If you like these to be moving or not, then you can leave it like that. Now we're going to add a color corrector so we can add the color to our shape right here. And I'm just going to copy and paste that right there. But press control space or in add a color corrector and you're good to go. Connect that to the foam grain. And here you can modify the color of our shape right here. If you want it to be yellow, you can just move the wheel right there. And there's no need to change any other values right here. But if you want, you can do that and play around with that as well. What I did was just these. All right, now we're gonna connect this color corrector with our displacement and generate a new merge node and make sure that the color corrector one is on the top. Now on this merge node, 
we're gonna go and change the applying mode to screen or overlay play around with the one that you like the most that way our glass is still showing up on top of it right you can also change the blending mode if you want to adjust these further now you can see the glass having that weird effect if you want you can also animate the duplicate so if you want them to be a little bit separated while it's moving you can use keyframes for that i didn't do that but that's something that you can do as well one thing that i also added was these background so that we can have a background color when we go back to the edit page so we just add a background right here and then press ctrl t so that this is coming as a background right there and the last finishing touch that i did for these was I added a stop motion node because if you want it to look a little bit different, you can do that and then have the frames be a little bit slower to two that seem to have worked all right. Or you can, let's see if we do 2.5. Yeah, there's no, all the numbers are rounded right there. If you want these to be not as sharp, we might need to move this a little bit towards the right and then also adjust the background. Um, so it's not all the way to the edge because I don't like that sharp edge right there. I think that should be good. Yeah, I think that's good. And there you have it. That's basically the glass displacement effect that you can create. You can play around with the different values and then different notes that you put right here. But that is pretty much it. Now, before you leave, don't forget to check out the Swalvi bundle at bundle.swalvi.com where you can find over a thousand elements for the Avengers Wolf that I've built and handcrafted myself so that you can have a lot more creative freedom and also save a bunch of times with some of the more technical tools that I've built. So check it out at bundle.swabby.com. That is it for this video and I hope I'll see you in the next one here in Swabby. Bye.